well welcome again in this lecture we are going to understand what tools are required on your machine to start working with jquery so let's find what is required okay so for first thing is i need a jquery library on my machine this is the first thing and you must have a jquery library and the second thing is i need a visual studio code so it is basically a ide so where you can uh, start writing your program uh, well you can use any other id uh, you can even use notepad plus plus or maybe uh, some other ids which are uh, available on internet but i prefer visual studio code because most of the professionals they use visual studio code uh, to make or uh, to start their project right and then i need a web browser okay and there is no restriction uh, you can use any web browser you can use uh, google chrome uh, safari opera internet explorer so it is entirely up to you and in most of the cases uh, you will have web browser on your machine so all we need is we need a jquery library and we need a visual studio code so let me tell you uh, from where you can download the jquery library so first let me open my browser and open google.com and then write jquery library download so make sure you are connected with the internet and see i have the official website jquery.com so this is the place from where you can download the jquery just click on it ah yeah that is the official website uh, now you can see that uh, here i have two different options one is the compressed jquery and another is uncompressed jquery right and see that compressed jquery is used for the production so it is clearly written there on the official website so once uh, everything is ready your project is ready and you are going to launch your website so you have to use the compressed uh, jquery because uh, it saves the bandwidth and it improves the performance because the file size is very small as compared to uncompressed jquery uh, but when you are making your project and if you are willing uh, for debugging if you want to debug your problems uh, in that case the uncompressed jquery is better right so if you are using compressed jquery so it would be very difficult for you to debug the issues but if you are using uncompressed jquery so it's it is easier for you to debug the application okay so the next thing is uh, how can i download this so let me go here and make sure you do not click on it rather right click on it and then you will have a download link file as so there is a option download linked file as just click on it and then what you can do you can download this file so it's a javascript file so you can see the extension uh, just choose the desktop and click save right and so you see the file is downloaded it's a very simple file and very small in size it's just 88 kb file right so let me show you where is it so that is the file okay so now what you can do you can make a folder so let's say your folder name is project i am just renaming it my folder name is project and then you can copy this and paste it in your project folder right so now in this folder you have the jquery file right so this is how you can download uh, jquery library right and the next thing is 
what we need we need a visual studio code it's a ide and it's a very popular and lightweight ide so to download it what you can do just go to the google again and find visual studio code visual studio code download and see this is the official website code.visualstudio.com so just click on it so this is the official uh, website and you can download this uh, visual studio code for both windows platform as well as mac platform and linux platform so let me tell you so this is uh, for the windows platform and this is for the linux platform and this is for the mac platform so once you click there your downloading will be started so let me click here and you have to wait for a while yeah your downloaded downloading has started so see it's a 86.8 .8 mb file so once it is downloaded just to follow the instructions it's a very simple installation and after following that instruction uh, it will be downloaded and installed on your machine right so make sure you choose the correct version if you are using a windows machine go for the windows installer right so i already have a, a visual studio code on my machine so i am going to stop this downloading and let me show you how it looks like so that is a uh, visual studio code this one right uh, you can see my cursor so that is visual studio code uh, now let me go back here right now the third thing is uh, you need a web browser so obviously uh, you will have it on your machine so i have google chrome and i have safari 2 so it's always better uh, to have multiple web browsers uh, so that you can uh, check your application in uh, multiple browsers okay so once you have all this uh, you are ready to start working with jquery and one more thing is you must also have a basic knowledge of html this is this is required fine so before watching the next lecture uh, make sure you have all these tools on your machine